Hey gang, we recently polled our audience across all of our social media channels to ask those full-time RVers what do they miss the most from home? And we got a lot of responses. So we compiled all of those responses to list them out and categorize them into the top things that full-timers miss from home. And we are gonna be sharing those with you right now. So let's roll that intro so we can get into it. to start off by saying that for us, you know, our personal experience only, that full-time RVing has been a far superior lifestyle than our home and our sticks and bricks. I don't know if everyone can say that, but we did get a lot of responses that were saying, I miss nothing. So I think a lot of people are on that same page. However, I am excited to be sharing these items today because I feel like when we were researching this lifestyle, there wasn't a lot of information out there of like, what are you gonna miss from home? And the, the like cold, hard reality is a full-time RVing. It yeah. was, it was a lot of rainbows and sunshine. Yeah, a lot of sugar coating. Yeah, and your life's gonna be totally different. You're gonna be this great person. And it's magic. And it's definitely not magic. Yeah, I think like <laughs> the only thing that people discussed was having to deal with like the black tank. And like that was the one thing that tr was drastically different. Yeah, which is like not a big deal at all, you know? No. <laughs> so with that said, I'm hoping that this video will help a lot of people who are either newbies or in their research phase because this can start to give you an idea of the things that you will miss and you can mentally prepare yourself for that because obviously this lifestyle comes with tons of pros, but yeah. there are some cons. So enough babbling. Without further ado, let's dive into what people miss the most from home. So I organized these into eight different categories with a ninth category being random because we did get a few one-offs or things that I still think are kind of cool to think about. Yeah, um, personal things. Yeah, very personal things. So I'm going to go from the least missed to the most missed. <laughs> which is just the amount of comments we got for the same subject. And then I'll go through the random stuff. So make sure you stay through the random stuff. So the first least missed item <laughs> is a yard. And that was yeah. on our list. Yeah, for me, that was definitely a big one. I put that in for Carmen specifically. Mm -hmm. She absolutely loved having her yard because she still likes to go outside and we call it sunbathing. She likes to go lay mm -hmm. in the sun. And at our house, she used to do that all the time and kind of check the perimeter. But now <laughs> uh, she does not get to do that. She has to be leashed yeah. up one way or another. She doesn't get uh, yeah. free rain outside. And I feel like when she's le leashed up, she wants to take that opportunity to sniff and explore. And only occasionally does she really sunbathe anymore. So when she does, it's we kind of nudge each other and we're like, oh, she's sunbathing. <laughs> and it was definitely nice having a yard when you had to take her outside to go to the bathroom uh, because you could stay inside and let her do her business <laughs> now. We both yes. have to go outside. Yes. So. Yes. A little more routine if you have an animal um, and you're going to be transitioning to the RV lifestyle. So then number seven was internet. A lot of people were, you know, they miss internet. They just yeah. miss having the, the consistency of yeah. knowing you're going to have good internet. Yeah. And I feel like this isn't necessarily something i thought this was going to be something i really really missed mm -hmm. but because we adequately prepared mm -hmm. i feel like i mean there's a lot of places where we get faster internet that than we had at a lot of like our houses and stuff like that mm -hmm. i i still do appreciate like unlimited fast upload speeds and not having to worry <laughs> about it so uh Yes. when I'm doing big things like backing up large amounts of data. But overall, I feel it's it, it, it wasn't a huge thing, but yeah. I get it. I get how you could miss that. Yeah, totally. I mean, and there's a lot 
a lot more um, compli complications around it, if that makes yes. sense. Like you're tech savvy and you get this, but not a lot of people are like that. So it's not just calling up a service and saying, okay, I need internet. You have to figure it out on your own. That's true. It is inconvenient sometimes. Yes. Are you ready for number six? Let's do it. <laughs> number six is hot water. So that makes sense. Yeah. We did have a lot of people say they just miss knowing that there's unlimited hot water and I miss that too but what I miss the most falls I separated it out into a different category but we definitely I say we both occasionally you have a really stressful day or sometimes you just feel really dirty or you just really want a long hot shower and yeah and while you know we can get closer to uh unlimited hot water by turning on both the gas and the electric element of our water heater it is still mm -hmm. not the same just yeah. being able to like run and let know that the water is just yeah. going straight into the drain i always have it in the back of my head that we keep our tanks closed so it's like am i filling up the tank is it getting yeah. too full yeah and so it's not the same there's nothing as nice as turning on that faucet and letting it just yeah. run exactly yeah. not worrying about it totally agree and number five is just the general category i put a couple different things in here under space so a lot of people just miss having the space you know just having your own space from each other because you are kind of on top of each other and we're in like one of the biggest RVs you can get and we still feel like we're on top of each other and yeah just having a yard having a hallway having you know all this all this space to roam around and you know yeah but, I mean that's <laughs> I had an office in every place that we had stayed at before and then moving into an RV I lost that space that was mine and I could put random tech things up on the walls that made no sense like a periodic table of beer and that just doesn't really go in our RV decor it kind of clashes with everything else <laughs> and it used to be okay but now you know it's it's still like that that space now I have stuff up on the window uh, in front of my desk which still yes it looks a little cluttery what are you gonna do what are you gonna do? <laughs> all right, are we ready for number four? I I put all of these in just one category, basically under appliances, but it was more specifically dishwasher, oven, and a washer and a dryer. And I can agree with all of these. It's funny because we didn't really have, I guess actually we did have a dishwasher in all of our previous living arrangements. I remember the one from our home the most and I never really thought I would miss it too much, but boy do I miss it now. Absolutely. Yeah. And I don't miss an oven too much. I feel like I've kind of figured out how to work this oven. Yeah. I've figured out how to work the convection microwave oven. So once you get those setting down and once you figure it out, I don't, you won't necessarily miss yeah. that appliance too much, hopefully. And then the only thing I miss about a washer and dryer is actually just having having it in my personal space. However, I think the pro of going to a laundromat or using the laundry facilities on campgrounds is that we can do multiple loads at once. Yeah, well, I mean, I would still love if I had like a zero pound washer and dryer. I think yes, we would have course. it in there, you know, because it's just convenient, but. yeah it is also very convenient to do laundry once a week or once every two weeks depending on <laughs> yeah and just do like we're eight doing. loads yeah, 10 loads and get it over with get it over with because <laughs> no one likes doing laundry yes i think i did like five loads at your mother's house last week yeah. and even though i was like well this is really nice i was also like oh another load <laughs> like, <laughs> one load at a time yeah, yeah. exactly exactly all right so number three and this one makes a lot of sense i was expecting this one to be at the top is friends and family so obviously people are going to miss their friends and family and i think this is something you know beforehand unless you just really dislike your friends and family yeah i think that's definitely top uh the good news is is your mobile so you can always go visit them again mm -hmm. you can facetime them you can call them 
and you can make new friends on the road. Yes. Yes, I think that's very important because when we, I feel like our first year on the road was our loneliest and we just didn't really know how to make friends and it's, it's always awkward, in my opinion, meeting new friends and getting past that initial phase of just getting to know them. I really like the parts of a friendship when you're comfortable with each other, you already know, you know, yep. information about each other and you can just get into like talking about your emotions or you know, talking, talking about aliens or ghosts or like, I just love having those types of conversations. Yeah, just not feeling like you have your walls up. Yeah. I feel the same way and I feel like uh, if you are looking to make friends on the road, it is actually relatively easy. I would say easier than stationary because mm -hmm. everyone is looking to make friends on the road. <laughs> and so we did it originally, some of our best friends to this date, Kyle and Olivia, <laughs> we reached out to them via Instagram mm -hmm. uh, to meet up and then met up multiple times randomly across the country, mm -hmm. visited them in Alabama. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think there's other ways you can reach out, Facebook groups, if mm -hmm. you join any of these uh, community clubs like Escapers, Escapees, Good mm -hmm. Sam, FMCA. And if you yes. want to know about more of the RV clubs <laughs> and what they can do for you, we'll have a link down to our free email course but there's tons of ways that you can meet other people and mm -hmm. make more friends on the road. And honestly, this whole last year is our first year that we've spent hanging yeah. out with friends almost the entire time. And it was our most fun year on the road, I would say. Really? And we saw things we had already seen. We didn't yeah. do really much new traveling. Yes, well this year was a little different for everyone. Yes. Overall, I still think we had a pretty good year. All right, ready for number two? All right. Don't cheat, don't read my notes. <laughs> number two, I put in the category of garage slash craft room. Kind of looked at those as the same thing. Cause people, yeah. you know, I don't, someone missed having their garage because they actually liked putting their car in it. But then, you know, other people miss their garage because you have your toys in there and your tools in there and then obviously you missed a craft room because that's where you would people would go and decompress and get their crafts done obviously so that makes sense we didn't really yeah i mean we had a garage i get it now because yeah. the number one thing i want is like a big rv garage with a huge cement floor so i can do work on the rv and keep my tools there and not have to lug them all around with me yeah so I totally understand that now. We used our garage as a home workout area, mm -hmm. like a home gym. Yeah. And I guess I still kind of miss that. Yeah. I mean, our garage wasn't insulated, so it was really hot in the summers and cold in the winters, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good space to have. Yeah, definitely. And our miss spare it. bedroom was kind of my craft room, but yeah. not so much. I did a little scrapbooking and baking was really my yeah. craft so I did have a lot of my tools on a shelf in there so I get it I get it but you know people have gotten so creative lately I feel like with rearranging floor plans and RVs to bring their favorite crafts and tools and stuff like yeah. that so it can be done if it's important to you all right are you ready for number one all right this... number one most missed thing when you go full-time yes this is my number one thing as well, and it is a bathtub slash hot tub, and I threw a couple pool comments in here as well, but it was mostly bathtub and hot tub, and I oh, cannot express to you how much I miss having a bathtub. Yeah, and it's, you know, I think it's been less of a burden or less of like a need the first two years we hit the road because we would find out Thousand Trails or other campgrounds mm -hmm. that had jacuzzis or hot tubs. Yeah. We would, that was like a, one, the only criteria we really even cared <laughs> about in a campground. Yeah. The Anything only else, yeah, it doesn't matter. At. It can be next, in between a train track and like below a uh, airstrip. We don't <laughs> care. We can deal with all of that if it had like a really nice jacuzzi. Uh, Preferably a sauna. Yeah. 
but this year they've all been closed due to COVID. And so it has, We're. I've been actively seeking them out even recently and it's just not happening. Not happening. Which is fine, I understand, but it makes that, yeah. that want so much more. <laughs> so yeah. I'm glad we're with family for the holidays because I will be um, taking advantage of their bathtubs <laughs> for yeah. sure. Okay, so we're not done yet. Now, there was a handful of stuff that was one-off comments, but they didn't really fit into any of the nine categories that we just talked about. So I'll do like, I guess, a little speed round kind of situation for that. So someone said they miss not having to drive a dually. I can relate to that. Yeah. I mean, I kind of like the big truck, to be honest. Everywhere except for <laughs> Los Angeles. Yeah. I mean, especially with the e-bikes now, yeah. yeah, it's negligible. But I. I get it. It's big. I get it. I I it, get it. Parking takes a little bit longer and all that, mm -hmm. but for sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> someone said they miss the good toilet paper. <laughs> Thought I that was funny. I don't think we miss uh, toilet paper. No. The Scots, the Scots RV and boat mm -hmm. that that we get septic is safe yeah, septic stuff. safe yeah. is is close it's, enough to the good stuff, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Someone said church. I could understand that. I know right now there's a lot of, you know, ch online um, church stuff happening. Mm -hmm. So maybe that, you know, that can help. And then... Always going to a new church. I, I get that. It's all yeah. new people. And there are obviously plenty yes. of churches out there. Yeah. But I get you kind of, you lose that community. The community based yeah. on the church. Exactly. Someone said not having to worry about dumping tanks. That's true. We did kind of touch on that with the hot water stuff. Yeah. Someone misses their DVR. <laughs> you can get a DVR in your RV, absolutely. But I guess you'd still, if you're moving, it's gonna miss something yes. potentially. So I get yes. that. This next one, um, I miss too when I'm feeling really lazy is food delivery. So absolutely. Yes. I was thinking about that like last week. I really wanted to get some food, and then. Yep. It's such a treat when you do find a takeout place that offers delivery to your campground. Mm -hmm. Such a treat. I think we found one delivery company that even delivered it to our site. That was cool. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Um, a place for their Christmas tree. Yeah. Yep, I get that. <laughs> Ducks and their eggs. I'm assuming you had a farm of some sort. <laughs> or like a pond. Yeah. I can't relate to that. Can't but I, relate to that. <laughs> maybe but, after the the eggs hatch and you have little ducklings, I guess I would miss that as well. Yeah. And then a walk to the uh, being able to walk to the store, the grocery store. Yeah, we had a a convenience store right behind our house. Yes. Uh, our last house, and that was like Friday nights. We wanted like an ice cream bar or some candy so we could watch like a movie mm -hmm. and kind of just relax. Yeah. That was always really nice. Yeah, it's probably good that we don't have that yeah, ability yeah, anymore. <laughs> um, hanging sheets on a clothesline. I thought that was a very specific thing yeah. to miss, but I, t I, you know, I get it. I yeah. mean, I don't personally get it. I've never done that. I've never done that, but you know, everyone's got their little thing that they miss. Yeah. And then the last one um, is the ability to own things that are impractical in an RV like a plane. So leave it to the RV geeks to say this. <laughs> but I cannot relate. Yes. Yep. <laughs> but there were other things that uh, we definitely miss that were impractical to have. So I did want to wrap up this video uh, with this comment from Amy. So she's saying all, she's listing all of the things she's going to miss, but I think the last sentence in this is what, um, is what I want to leave you with today. And that is because we're going full time next spring, I'm reveling in these things now. And I think that's the best piece of advice to leave you with here is if you're getting ready to go full time, really soak in those moments of the things that you know you're gonna miss. And I personally feel from our perspective when we when we get to have the things that we miss, we appreciate them so much more. Absolutely. Even things in RVing in general. Mm -hmm. Like before we went boondocking, 
long showers were nice, but they weren't like amazing. And now that we've been boondocking a lot more, when you get like a nice <laughs> long shower, you absolutely enjoy it. Yes. Yep. So I do, I do like that twist. I feel much more appreciative of the good things in life nowadays. So let us know in the comments what you miss from home if you're a full-time RVer or what you think you're going to miss. We would love to read through some more suggestions. This was really fun. So a big shout out to our gang for participating in this video. We really, really enjoy this style of video and it makes us feel really connected with you guys and we get to know you better. So I hope you like this style of video as well because we plan on continuing. We have a few more questions we'd love to ask you guys, but we'll save that for later. So, oh. Before you go, <laughs> if you haven't oh, seen God. our shirt, didn't catch it on the live, yes. these are our Yay. Christmas sweatshirts, yes. as people have said, um, or sweaters as we call them. And they are available at our shop and we'll have the links down below. Yes. Uh, we had this designed and we absolutely love it. We do. So uh, order one before Christmas. You know, before before our okay. shop gets a little too full on orders and won't ship them out in time. So get your orders in now. Good call. I almost forgot that. All right. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. So let's roll that intro so we can get into it. What they missed the most from... No, the first one's gonna be fine, whatever, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, we wanted to live this lifestyle for a certain reason and... It... Are you looking at this or are you looking at yourself? Oh, I'm looking at myself for the... <laughs> we look at each other and be sad. Oh. <laughs> Just in case you ever wondered how we get our thumbnail pictures, this is it. We do a video <laughs> making faces. Oh, why? Oh, I miss things from home. Oh, where's my hot shower? <laughs> where's my hot tub? <laughs> I hate dealing with poo. <laughs>